everybody, the presidential chair is here. Club Cool is recently open right behind me, so we're gonna get inside and check it out. I'm very excited. Club Cool is always my favorite place to visit. I came here to Epcot, trying those different drinks from around the world, and they have a whole bunch of new ones. So let's get to it. Yeah. Merchandise here, guys. Of course, since it's sponsored by Coca Cola, there's gonna be a lot of Coca Cola products. Nice Coca Cola t shirt. $59.99 for that. Of course, there's some Coca Cola fisherman hats. $29.99. Of course, the usual candies. And Coca Cola hats. $27.99. Some other hats. Probably the same price, yeah. $27.99. The long sleeve shirts. These are. $49.99 for those. It's like a little purses. $24.99 and of course the, put these on the wall and help you open up the bottles. $12.95. Yeah, definitely a lot of cool stuff. There's more merch space across. Uh, on the wall there. And then, here's where the good stuff is. You know, I'll definitely be excited to be trying that. <clears throat> Especially, I can't wait to be trying the Beverly again, do the Beverly Challenge. It's pretty cool. And they still sell some pop over there with some ices. Coca-Cola sign. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff here, guys. I mean, there's the old Coca-Cola straw holder. Yeah, some of the same stuff when they had Club Cool before, and then some new things. But the usual plethora of Coca-Cola merchandise. Okay. But you know why we're really here. Check out the pop selection. All right, soon we'll be up to it. It looks like they're keeping you in line, basically. You can't just walk in. Probably this place would get a little too busy. So they kind of keep it like a certain amount of people in here as of now. Being a newer thing, probably afraid too many people is going to get in there. <clears throat> Alright, All right, cool. These are probably salt and pepper shakers. $14.99. And the metal ones are probably going to be the same price. So if you want to buy a beverage, it's $3.99. Ice cream floats are $5.49. Frozen beverages are $4.99. Alright, awesome. Alright, what do you got there? Beverly. And here it goes. Oh, I love this. Yeah, she likes the Beverly. I hate it. But I still love drinking it, though. A lot of people don't like this. But I eat out anyway. I like sprouts and tofu and stuff like that and plant-based. Here we go. All you people up there, you don't know what you're missing. And here it is. Beverly. 
Okay, what can you do? There's Bon Bon English from Madagascar, or Beverly from Italy, Country Co from the Dominican Republic, Joy Apple from Korea, Royal Watermelon from the Philippines, uh, Smart Sour Plum flavor it is uh, from China. It's a Sprite. Uh, Sprite Cucumber from Russia, and Viva from Moldova. Oh, and here's the descriptions and the flavors. First, I'll take lots of pictures. Okay. All right, I gotta do it. I gotta do the Beverly. Here goes. Oh. It's sweet at the very beginning. But then it gets bitter. You know what? The stuff tastes awful, but I love doing this. It's great to have this back. It's trying to get, we're getting a little bit back to normalcy. So this is the Beverly Challenge. Good. Yeah, yeah. All right. And Beverly Challenge. Boy, have I missed it. All right, everybody, this is going to be Bon Bon English, I think, from Madagascar. Let's give it a try. It's clear colored. It smells like bubble gum. I bet you it's going to taste like bubble gum. Yeah. yeah it reminds me of bubble gum. Got to do a little bit more. Interesting. But very sweet. Let me show it to you. Yeah, bubble gum. And there is the description. Interesting. Alright, I am sampling a Country Club. It's from the Dominican Republic here at Club Cool. And it's orangey flavor. Good. Um, Ooh. it's pronounced Country Cub uh, Mo Ring Gay. That is good. You know what it tastes like? Mm, maybe. Kind of reminds me of that Iron Brew soda that I tried from Scotland. And it's a similar color, too. Orangey. Made a little bit of bubblegum flavor. It's different, sweet. Okay, and uh, here it is. And here is the description. And there it is. All right, cool. All right, here he is Minute Maid Joy Apple Lychee from Korea. And I'll show you the front in a, in a minute, but. It does smell like apple and lychee. Oh, lychee. Ooh, that's good. You taste that apple and that lychee? That's the best one here so far at Club Cool. No carbonate whatsoever. I love it. I gotta have a second glass. That's the first one I had a second glass of. Mmm, that is very good. That is good. And it's crystal clear. You let me show you the front. You gotta try that. That is one. That one you definitely gotta try, guys. And here's the description. Okay. All right, this is a review of Royal Watermelon from the Philippines. Royal Watermelon is a sparkling beverage with a freshly sour watermelon flavor exclusively in the Philippines. And it's reddish color, like watermelon. Um, it's not as sweet, but it might be because I just tried the apple lychee one. It's good. Yeah. I can taste that watermelon flavor. It's not as good tasting as uh, the major melon that Mountain Dew does that's supposed to be watermelon flavor. It's good. It can grow on me. Not bad. 
But here it is. And then there's the description. Okay. Alright, I am reviewing a smart uh, swan meat tang or sour plum tea is a traditional Chinese beverage that has existed for over a thousand years. Smart sour plum is a savory, sweet, and tart flavor that's considered by many to be the ultimate sparkling thirst quencher on that day. So, and it's from China. And it's brown color, like cola. Is it the first time you have this? Does it have a sour taste? What is that? That might be the plum. Yeah. There might be a little bit of, yeah, like a tea in there too. It's yucky. Almost not like a sour spoiled fruit a little bit. It's not horrible. Oh. It's not horrible, horrible, but. That no. Than that. It's definitely something. Let me show you. This is really interesting, guys. And there's a description. All right, and we're reviewing some cool. This one's definitely gonna be cool. This is Sprite cucumber from Russia. Oh, that's a good. Book. I've had cucumber pop before, and it was always very good. It's good, sweet, delicious, uh, very refreshing. But it tastes a lot like Sprite. There's, you taste a little bit of cucumber, but the cucumber flavor is not as strong. It's not as strong as I would like it to be, but still very good. This, this is probably my second favorite one after that apple lychee one I, I tried here. It's good, very refreshing, nice. Let me show you. Oops. Come on. And there's the description. Hi hey everybody. I am re I am reviewing Viva Viva Raspberry from Moldova here at Club Cool. And you know what? It's nice and reddish looking. Let's give it a try. Uh, yeah, it tastes like a raspberry pop. There might be a, there's sweet, there might be a slight bitter taste. Maybe a slight bitter taste. It's not, it's, it's good. But uh, yeah, it's okay. I've had better, but let me show you the front of it. There it is. Wait a second. This one from, uh, where is that? The last one? Moldova. They smell raspberry, but they don't taste as much. They're like the cucumber from Russia. You could smell it, but you didn't taste much of it. But it's good. The yeah. worst one was China. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that one was the worst, I think. You think Beverly's bad? Try the China one. Yeah, I may actually like Beverly better than that. Yeah. This is a mixed bag. I'm Sweet, they're good. Like always. None of them as good as Bebo. That's the closest one. I miss Bebo though. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay guys, come down here and try this. Yeah, you gotta try all these guys. It's good, it's interesting. It's like the maximum occupancy here is 67. Okay, this is it. Alright, as you see, as I show, they have a queue line there. What they're doing is they're following you here. So they have a certain amount of people in here. Goes around and then they're, every time a uh, station gets empty, they send uh, the group up to it. We're lucky we got the very last one. So that's how they're doing it right now. Probably when COVID gets a lot less, that um, they allow more people in here. But the current oc occupancy level is 67, as I mentioned earlier. Let me 
of course. There's a lot of cool Coca-Cola merchandise. Not as much as the Coke store in Disney Springs, but the main purpose of the store really is to try the drinks from around the world. Much more of a mixed bag from the old ones. Definitely pretty cool. If I remember right, this is where they had, um, I was gonna say it was meat and grease, but no. I think this was part of um, the old um, mouse gear store, if I remember correctly. Yeah, pretty sure this was. Okay, awesome. I'm happy I came here. This is my third incarnation of Club Cool I've been to here at Epcot. Been to the old Ice Station Cool, then the old Club Cool, and now the new version of Club Cool. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get going, guys. Hi. Okay.